Welcome to USMLEFastTrack.com. The section we're going to talk about today is from First Aid for the USMLE Step 1, 2013 edition. Page 553. Pulmonary Embolism. What is pulmonary embolism? Pulmonary embolism is a blockade of the main artery of the lung or one of its branches by a substance that has traveled from somewhere else in the body through the bloodstream. Name some types of pulmonary embolism. Pulmonary embolism can be caused by fat, air, thrombus, bacteria, amniotic fluid, and tumor. What is the mnemonic to help you remember these types of pulmonary embolism? The mnemonic is to remember that a embolus moves like a fat bat. So that's F for fat, A for air, T for thrombus, B for bacteria, A for amniotic fluid, and T for tumor. So fat bat. How can fat emboli form? A fat emboli can form after long bone fractures and after a liposuction procedure. What is the classic triad observed with fat embolism? The classic triad of fat embolism will lead to hypoxemia, neurologic abnormalities, and petechial rash. What problems can be caused by amniotic fluid emboli? Amniotic fluid emboli can lead to disseminated intravascular coagulation in which there is a widespread activation of the clotting cascade which can lead to bleeding, bruising, and kidney failure. What are all the nonspecific signs and symptoms associated with pulmonary embolism? The signs and symptoms of pulmonary embolism include sudden onset of dyspnea, chest pain, and tachypnea. One additional thing to note about pulmonary embolism is that if you have a large embolus, such as the saddle embolus in the pulmonary artery, this can cause sudden death. Where do 95% of all pulmonary emboli arise from? 95% of pulmonary emboli arise from deep leg veins, causing that deep vein thrombosis. And this can commonly occur if a person has long-term immobility of their legs. What is the imaging test of choice in pulmonary embolism? The imaging test of choice in pulmonary embolism is CT pulmonary angiography. For more information on this topic, click on the link in the description section below. For a full USMLE Step 1 review, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com where we help you review the entire first aid for the USMLE Step 1 with high quality videos and hundreds of detailed pictures for a better understanding of the material. So to learn from the best USMLE review book, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com.